close your eyes, watch your breath. And appreciate the fact that you're able to watch your breath. There are no other disturbances, no other requirements right now. No other demands on your time. Then appreciate the fact that you have a breath that you can watch. And as you're staying with it, at the beginning it may not seem all that impressive. You have to read these many reports of meditation, and feelings of bliss, rapture, whatnot. And you look at your breath, you don't see any bliss, you don't see any rapture. And you get dissatisfied with it. Well, sometimes things take a while to grow. It's like planting a little seed, and an inch of a sprout comes out, and you say, "This isn't, this isn't the tree I wanted." And you throw it away. Then you plant another seed. That's not the tree you wanted. And then you just keep planting seeds and throwing it away, throwing it away. Nothing gets a chance to grow. Stay with the breath and keep the mind there. If it's going to wander off, try to bring it back. Gently but firmly. And remind yourself that if anything good is going to appear in the meditation, it's going to appear right here. Not in some weird, far off, distorted mental state, or off in some other abstraction. It's right here where the mind meets the breath. It's simply a matter of allowing things to settle down. And allowing them to settle down and stay there. And then after a while they'll have a chance to develop into good things. And there will be a sense of well-being that's very deep and very satisfying. But it's going to take time. So if that hasn't appeared in your meditation yet, just be confident that it will, if you give it the opportunity. And it doesn't require much. There are no secret teachings to say, well, we'll let you stay here for two weeks and then we'll tell you the real teaching. It's all very simple. Watch the breath. Watch the mind watching the breath. Try to make them comfortable together, and then keep them comfortable together. And sense any little movements in the mind that would disturb that comfort. And pick them away the same way that you would pick insects off of a fruit tree. And the fruit will have a chance to develop. So appreciate what you've got. Because what you've got, if you take care of it properly, will develop and do what you want, which is a happiness, a well-being that's really satisfying, lasting, and totally harmless. <laughs>